Welcome back to Techno Babylon. It's time to, uh, I think go try to kill Baxter? I think that's what we're about to do. Since Regis did take the pistol with him. Let's go see. Hey, Charlie. That's Dr. Regis, corpseman. Oh, uh, sorry, Dr. Regis. Uh, sir, I need your help, doctor. Rescue brought someone in, but I'm not qualified to take the statement. I'm very busy, corpseman. Can't you find Santiago or Lau? Uh, no, sir. They're still in the AR lab, trying to fight off the heuristic attack. It'll only take a second, sir. Fine. Oh, thank you, sir. I've been panicking all evening about it. She's in the waiting room at the end here. Oh, that's got to be the person that I've tried to talk to a couple times, but nothing ever... I was never able to actually say anything to them. I figured this would come up at some point. Oh, no, it's you. I thought it was the person on the left. Oh, hey, some service. These flexes are broken. I can't input anything. That's because they're not flex screens. They're sheets of paper. Paper? What is this, the Dark Ages? <laughs> Hi there, my name's Charlie. I work here, and I'm going to see if I can help you. Something like this must be quite unsettling, after all. You could say that. It's not every day something like this happens. Not in meat space, anyway. Yeah, so she had to escape her apartment, which was basically keeping her prisoner, and then everything blew up. What a day. What a shitty, shitty day. I mean, you just get out of your apartment and then there's a huge explosion. That blows. Kind of literally. Where do you live? The trance. And where is your physical address? Well, it was 13E8682 Zoo Street. I... excuse me? 13E8682 Zoo Street? I guess I just realized, oh, I kind of blew that place up. Why are you here at Cell? They didn't tell you? Someone cut my network and locked my apartment. I just about managed to crack the door when the whole damn place exploded. Ex... exploded? Sure, I didn't like the place, but I didn't do it. Hey, is there a net connection here? I haven't been able to hook up for hours. Excuse me. So, can I go? Corpsman, the girl in there's life may be at risk. Do not let her leave without authorization from myself or Dr. Lau. Can do, a chat. Uh, Dr. Regis. Empty apartment, my ass. That girl was locked in there. That asshole knew what would happen when I... He wanted her killed. I know what he has against me, but why her as well? Uh, why is this taking so long? Can I get back in the trance yet? Oh, maybe now I can speak to this guy. Maybe they'll speak to me. Hello? Huh. Guess he doesn't feel like talking. What is wrong with that person? They've been there all freaking day, just like, bobbing back and forth. I hope they're okay. Let's look at the latest news. Mm. Japan to begin third round of cloning. There's been two rounds before. Following successful initial trials, the Japanese government has approved an expansion of its controversial human cloning program. Hailed by many within the... Wait, within the diet? The diet? What's the diet? Hailed by many within the diet as a solution to the predicted population crises. The next... Trench? I, I feel like I'm reading this wrong. Within the diet? Trench? What the heck's a trench? The next... Tranche is projected to expand the number of... I, does that actually say tranche? I feel like I'm going crazy here. Uh, projected to expand the number of new births via cloning and IVF from 1,500 in the initial groups to over 20,000. According to the Malthus Institute, an NGO committed to measuring population growth patterns, the country's declining birth rates since the end of the 20th century have led to fears of an unsustainable unsustainable shift towards an older population. 
unlike many other nations in the region who have countered similar trends by accepting large numbers of refugees from global conflicts, Japan has steadfastly refused to dilute the culture and essence of the Japanese people by taking in large numbers of displaced, as expressed by outgoing Home Minister Mizuno Murai. The process used involves selection of a suitable zygote after fertilization, which is then split multiple times to produce many embryos per fertilization. Some have raised concerns that the manner in which these candidates are selected and what traits deemed desirable risk leading to politics of ethno-fascism. While others note that the long-term health effects of such wide-scale cloning on a human population are currently unknown. Despite these objections, the government believes this to be the best solution to the looming depopulation crises, aiming for as much as 40% of the nation's population to be born in this way by 20, 2110. That is some dicey stuff to get into, but you know what, it honestly totally makes sense. Yeah, I mean, forgetting the future for a moment, just talking about right now in 2015, there's a lot of countries that are actually already experiencing a problem of having basically not enough, not enough young people. Birth rates have gone down, so you end up with kind of a misshapen graph in terms of the uh, the age groupings, where you'd expect people to, like, if you imagine a graph where the top of the graph is older, you know, like 90 to 100 years old, 70, 60, 50, 40, going down the line, you know, like a, a normal, fairly healthy graph would be one where the bottom, the younger people, uh, tend to be larger, and then it kind of tapers off as you get older because, of course, people start start to die at a certain age. So you got a lot more young people and then less and less and less older people as you go up. But there's there's some countries where right now, if you look at their graphs, it's it's not that kind of like the, the pyramid shape is a healthy shape, kind of like a pyramid. But there's some countries where it's not like a pyramid, where there's actually more old people than young people because the birth rates have gone down. And that's really unhealthy for the economy of a country. You need young people going into the workforce because old people retire and then... You, you need young people to, to keep the economy healthy. So it's actually becoming a real problem, and it's going to be even more so in the future. Let's check the sports, which nobody cares about. Oh, fascinating. Check the weather, nobody cares about. Oh, fascinating. Wait, I think there was... Yeah, I can contact a cell officer. Let's not do that just yet, though. <laughs> Food up the machine. Menu. The insert coin message on the screen is in the way. Great. Honestly, I don't think I want to see another food machine ever. I never want to talk to Sheffy ever again. I can't reach it from here. Uh, wait, what am hey. I doing? What? Would you mind not doing that? <laughs> They're watching. Doing what? I wasn't doing anything. I can see you, you know. The camera's there for your own safety. Uh, fine. I'd better find a way to fix that. Yep, maybe I can cover up the camera. Although if the camera was covered up, then they would probably just come in the room to see what's wrong, right? Hmm. I can't get the screws out with my bare hands. My nails aren't strong enough for that. Alright, let's see if we can deal with the camera first. I can't reach it properly from down here. You can totally reach it. If you lift your arm up all the way. Come on. I can't reach a... Maybe I can put a stack of this stuff down here? I can't reach... I need to stand on something, obviously. Huh? Fixed to the floor. The trash can? Huh? Huh. Oh. What? Drink straight from it? I guess we can get a cup of water. Don't really know the point. Better not. I might need it. It's a blue plastic cup full of water. That's a really tall cup, too. Very cylindrical. Tubish. Tubesque. I can't reach it from. Yeah, I think I need to stand on the table and, like, get into the broken light or something. But obviously I can't stand on the table until I deal with the camera. I can't deal with the camera until I stand on something. 
My wetware is dried up. All I've got left is the crusty layer stuck to my hands. Ew. Oh, I can still enter trance. Right. Well, in that case, let's use the residue to connect to the camera. Oh, but right, I can't reach it, right? Hmm. I can't reach. I don't think I can fill that up. Don't want to connect to the water dispenser. I don't think I can. Maybe I can connect to it and let it flow and fill up the entire place. Flood it. Now there's probably safeguards in place. Anyway, that'd probably take like two years to fill everything up. Yeah, everything's like bolted down, so... I really don't know what I can stand on. It's the paperwork they wanted me to fill out. Who even uses paper anymore? Everything I can scrape off my hands is in the cup. Uh, okay, I don't really know why I just put the residue into the water. What, am I gonna splash the water on the camera? I can't reach it from here. <laughs> what am I gonna do with this? Food machine? Doesn't look like it wants to barter. I can't use- What in the heck am I supposed to do with this? I may not be 100% clear on paper, but I don't think that's how it works. This is very quickly going down the use everything on everything route. I, I really don't know what to do. I can't stand on the table without taking care of the camera. I can't take care of the camera without having something to stand on. Oh wait, hold on. Can I just stand on the trash can? Right there? Huh? Fixed to the floor. Yes, but can you stand on A it? A stainless steel trash can. They A stain they probably go through everything guess they're out. As much as I'd like to. I don't I I can't I feel like I'm supposed to stand on a stack I of paper, but apparently not. Can I just put the paper down? Hey! What? Would you mind not <laughs> doing what? I, I can the cap. Mm, I'd better find. I don't even know what I was doing. I was just like putting a stack of paper underneath the table. I guess. Don't know what the point of that is. But yeah. Okay. So now I've got a tiny amount of the gel goo stuff in water. It's a filled-up plastic cup. What's left of my wetware is floating in it. I really don't know what to do with that. Better. It's already full. I can't. I guess I'll just literally try it on everything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What? Doing what? I the camera. Gotta deal with the camera before I do anything else. Doesn't look. I can't. I can't. I can't. I can't. You. picked up sheet. Oh, oh, I'm supposed to just steal the sheet from the poor sick person. <laughs> what a nice person I am. I can't reach it from here. Hmm. What do I do with that, I can't though? Better. I, I don't... I can't... That doesn't seem to help me at all. I can't use... Doesn't look like it... I don't... I may not... What am I supposed to do with the sheet? Better. I. I. I can't. I can't. I can't. Doesn't. I can't. It seems useless. I'm not giving it back. Of course you're not. You're a complete asshole, apparently. What? what? Doing what? I can't. The camera. Mm, I better. Oh my god, I'm gonna tear my hair out. What am I missing? It won't bring up the menu. Okay, let's take a minute, go into trance. There's nothing to connect to at the moment because I haven't put my wetware on anything, but we can check the news, which I've already read. Um, can check my mailbox, which I think I've already read. I can download the malware attachment again, I guess. Uh, better not download the package more times than you need to. Okay, fair enough. Yeah, these aren't helpful. 
Uh, do I just have to call somebody in? I don't see what that would accomplish, but... Whoops. It's like the only thing Hi left. There. How can I help? Can I speak to you? Sure. Just a second. Maybe I've got a couple seconds while they're leaving to do what I want to do without them seeing it? Can you turn the camera off? There's no way. So, Agent, uh... Just Corpsman, actually. Quince. What's your name? Sesame. Lata. Nice to meet you, Miss Sesame. Pardon my asking, but you were raised by the city, weren't you? You read that on my file? Nah, I was too. No way. Yeah, we're practically family. Who was that guy who came in? Oh, Charlie? He's one of the most experienced agents in Cell. A lot of people have trouble getting on with him, but he's just businesslike. It sounded like he was panicking about something. I've never thought of him as someone who gets worried. Grumpy a whole lot of the time, sure. So, how'd you know I was raised by the city? It was a guess, but your name was a clue. You ever notice how they always assign kids' names from nature? Quince? Sesame? We even had a pomegranate in my center. Huh. I suppose that's true. Never met any with any cool names, though. No tigers or anything. <laughs> yeah. I don't think they do the extinct ones, though. So, how'd you end up working for Cell? I'm not sure, really. Kinda drifted in. Most of the kids from my center ended up here. Monroe Center, down by the coast, that is. Where'd you grow up? Taylor, near the lake. Most of us just ended up on Skanto, unemployed. I'm sorry to hear that. Personally, I think us city kids should stick together. There are so many of us, we'd be a force to be reckoned with. This guy's really nice. So, what's your first name, Mr. Corpsman Quince? It's Amadi, an Angolan name. Apparently, that's where my family came from, but I've been here as long as I can remember. The first names are always from kids' cultural backgrounds. What about Latha? Is that, uh, Indian? Dunno. Probably. I came with a refugee shipment from the war. You ever feel like exploring your roots? Not really. I grew up here. Newton is my home. Yeah. There isn't really much for me in the old country, either. Except thousands of kilometers of radioactive hot zone. I'm starving. It's been days since the last time I ate. And was that because you were deep in the trance? I... It, it, that's not the point. I couldn't get the food machine in here to work. Oh yeah, they take tokens. Here, have a few. You'll be able to get yourself something. Is it any good? Uh, what kind of machine do you have at home? The kind that came in Skanto Apartments. Ooh, ouch. Yeah, kind of about that. So, mush. Why are you keeping me in the cell? I haven't done anything! Whoa, change in tones. This isn't a cell. The cells are only two cubic meters. That's not the point! I didn't break the law! It's for your own safety. Charlie's asked to make sure you stay here until he gets back. I don't feel very safe. My apartment exploded. Oh, ouch. It was it a nice place? Well, no, but that isn't the point. Accidents like that happen sometimes. <laughs> At least Cell were able to get you out. It wasn't an accident. I'm not sure it was an accident. My connection was cut and my doors were locked before it happened. Who'd want to hurt you, though? That's just it. I, I don't know who. I mean, I've pissed people off in net matches sometimes, but this? I don't even want to mention the camera because then they're going to be extra suspicious about it. Especially if it gets covered up or something. But... Would I be able to get some privacy? What do you mean? Well, with that camera, I don't think I can... You know, personal stuff? Business? I'm sorry. I understand how you feel, but I can't cut the camera. What? That's not fair! All of the cameras are tied into the centralized network. We can't turn them off, even if we wanted to. It's for your security. Oh, I see. You're not able to. Charlie doesn't like it either. He keeps breaking the camera in his office. Central gets real mad at him for that. I just realized, is there a bathroom in this place? I mean, I obviously can't see one, but I'm just gonna assume it's like on the other corner of the room that we can't see. I really hope so. I've been in here for hours. The guy in the bed isn't much company. What is there to do? There's the terminal. You could check the news. 
Ugh, I can't stand this much of the real world. It's so slow. I'm sorry. People don't usually spend so long in here. It's just taking a bit longer than usual. I need to get back in the trance. How can I make a connection? Sorry, we don't allow trance connections from inside cell. What? That's inhuman! I have rights, you know! Not to an internet connection, you don't. Come on, I could just hook something up through that terminal. I'm sorry, but it's for security. Thanks for that. Anytime. Just call if you need anything. <laughs> okay, there's some strange changes in tone during that conversation. But he's a nice guy. I like him. Alright, so we've got some tokens. Uh, I guess I can get some food. I don't really know what the point of that is. That's not going to help me cover the camera. Whoa. You're telling me I can't get metal utensils in my apartment, but I can get them inside of a cell? Or a holding area, whatever this is? That's weird. A sharp metal eating tool. Better be careful with it. It's a thick brown mash that probably contains the bare minimum of what a human body needs. That looks disgusting. I don't know how, but they've made it even worse than my food machine does. It looks like a stone. Like, it just looks like a freaking stone. It's disgusting. Can I get more? Ugh, how much of this slop do I want in my pockets? That sure won't make... Um... I still don't know what I'm supposed to do with this stuff. Prying it open with a fork won't help. I've put some of it in the cup. Okay. Am, am I making, like, a wetware soup? What, what am I doing? I've got a huge cylindrical, or not huge, but a super tall cylindrical cup filled with water and a little bit of a wetware goo and also a lump of disgusting food. What What's the point of this? What am I doing? Prying it open with a f I don't understand. What am I supposed to do with this thing? Am I making, like, a wetware ball launcher thing? Am I supposed to like pop a hole in the bottom and just like blow like a blow dart gun? That doesn't even make any damn sense. What what am I doing with this? I can't reach it. I guarantee you whatever I'm doing with this is going to be absurd. Okay, let's just try using it on everything. I may not be one. I can't use I can't use I don't want I can't use Okay, so no. You want this? Huh. Guess he doesn't feel like talking. You want this? Huh. Guess he- Doesn't want food. Doesn't want anything. Okay, let's use this on everything. Better not. It's already- I can't re- Yeah, I can't main problem is still that I can't reach it. <sighs> what? Doing what? I can't- mm -hmm. I better- doesn't look like I can't use it. Doesn't look. I can't. <laughs> I don't get it. I don't get it. What am I supposed to do with this stuff? Oh, I'm gonna look around. I'll be right back. Hey, what did you do? I've lost the feed from the camera. Hmm, okay, that might work. <laughs> Jeez, Charlie's gonna kill me. <laughs> Why did you do that? I like my privacy. Ah, just don't do anything stupid, okay? Please. Yeah, I'm totally... Well, I'm not gonna do something stupid, but I'm certainly gonna get up to some mischievous stuff. Okay, so throw food mash at the camera. Gotcha. I really do have an absurd amount of things in my inventory. This is just silly. Okay, so I think I know kind of what to do, because I examined the plastic cup and she says this. The cup's getting full. It'd be a wetware growth culture if it was any warmer. So I guess I'm supposed to grow wetware? I mean, I know it's semi-organic and you can grow it. After all, she did have a still in her apartment, but doesn't that take hours in the best of conditions? But I, I guess I'm supposed to warm it up. It's broken, but I can't pull it. Okay, probably the fork. 
Hmm. Ah! Oh. Ouch. Okay, let's maybe wrap it. I've given it a handle made of that plastic rubbery sheet. Yeah, that should do it. Okay, that's probably warm. It looks like a fire hazard. It's spitting sparks everywhere. Okay, let's get this thing growing, I guess. I can't use it like that. Oh. What the hell is it for, then? I can't use it... I can't use... Ah! <laughs> Ouch. Hmm. So, what do I need? I need to turn that into heat, I guess? It doesn't take coins. I'm seriously just gonna fall back on using everything on everything. I've already got it open. Anything else and I'll probably burn down the building. It looks like a fire has- Alright, so it's spitting sparks. Uh... I can't use- I'm assuming I'm supposed to heat stuff up. I, I don't know, I could burn the paper. What's... What the hell's that this gonna do? This kind of sums up my feelings about paperwork. What's the point of that? No way. The reaction takes like an hour. I can't hold them the whole time. That's exactly what I was thinking. Are you telling me the stack of paper is gonna burn for an hour? I guess that's sorta safer. Are you kidding? This makes no sense! I'm pretty sure back in the apartment, in her still, in her wetware still, which is like the most ideal environment to possibly grow wetware, I think she said, would, she said it would take at least an hour or two to grow more. And I'm seriously supposed to grow more in a reasonable amount of time? using a trace amount shoved into a plastic cup with a bit of nasty food stone shoved into it, being heated up by a stack of paper that there's no way it would burn for like an hour? I mean, I guess it doesn't need to burn the entire time, it just needs to get it fairly warm, but still, this is far from ideal conditions. Ideal conditions take at least an hour or two. This would take a lot longer. Let's see if this works. Eighty minutes. Easy. Nothing stands between me and my trance. No way. No freaking way. All right. So what do I want to connect to then? The screen. Sploosh. Got it. <sighs> I can feel the net on the other side. Uh, hi? I'm looking for the internet. Are you tapping the line as well? Indeed I am, except we appear to be doing it from opposite directions. You're a hacker. That sounds so... crude. The sort who prefers to be called an adventurer? I'm merely a concerned citizen. You can call me Jinso. I'm Mandela. Looks like a partially built sim. Indeed, we're using a number of different sources to reconstruct a scene. Cameras, chromatographs, even the charge variances and wiring. So why are you hooked up to Cell? No offense, but you'd have to be crazy to hack Central. Fortunately, Central is indisposed. An initial attack appears to have crippled it. Ah, so lots of opportunists are trying their luck while the security's weak. Precisely. I was assembling this sim at the same time, when you joined it through an outbound port. So this looks like a reconstruction of what? The the crime scene? Where the apartment exploded? Now the apartment that Regis blew up wasn't actually Uh oh, damn it, I forgot her name. The person on the right, the very important character that I forgot the name of. 
<laughs> even though she just said her name. <clears throat> uh, but anyway, Regis didn't actually blow up her apartment directly, right? Didn't he? He must have blown up an apartment next to it, right? Because I thought I remember it looked different inside, a little bit. Like, obviously every apartment in that whole place is kind of modular and is built basically the same, but there are obviously some differences. Like, I think there wasn't a pile of clothes, I think the food machine wasn't dripping food all over. There wasn't, like, a big pile of food on the table. Pretty sure it was a different apartment, so it must have been one next to hers, I think. So I wonder if this is the crime scene's apartment, or actually her apartment. This looks a lot like the kind of place I used to live. It ought to. It was right above your own. In fact, we're trying to reconstruct the data from moments before the blast. You know where I live? We wouldn't be taking our responsibilities seriously if we didn't. We also know that it appears you've been targeted deliberately. These are shots we've been able to recover of the man who planted the bomb. Oh god. That, that's the guy I spoke to. <laughs> you know him? Yeah, he's the cell agent who interviewed me. He left like an hour ago. Oh boy. Why would a cell agent be trying to kill me? Often, Central's plots are unclear. This, however, is too direct and destructive for how Cell works. You think it's personal, then? In any case, he knows where you are and that you survived. He's also got me trapped in one place again. Then it's imperative that we help you to escape. Our agent may be able to help you with that. He is close at hand. An agent close at hand, hmm? I wonder if that'd be the person I was talking to. Wait, the guy in the cell with me? Or Blonde that person? pseudo leather jacket got the shakes? That would be Guy, yes. Oh. He's acting as one of our relays within cell. You think he can help me get out? We work within our own specialties, and his is cell. If anyone were able to furnish a means for you to escape, it would be him. Why do you think it was me they were aiming for? We... hear things. We're also aware that prior to the blast, you were trapped. Yeah, someone cut my connection and locked the door. It would appear that you were being kept in place until the bomb was planted. They probably could have just done it. I'd have been in trance for hours. They had to be certain. But now that you've escaped, it appears that your life is still at risk. Who do you run with? The collective? A nun? We're a circle of truth seekers and underground journalists. We go by Jahilia. Never heard of it. What's it mean? Well, who controls the media today? Uh, Chishiki? They're the biggest. Exactly. Chishiki, whose name means knowledge. Except in this knowledge, there's nothing but trivia and lies. So where will people find the truth? On the internet? Uh, no, that's not quite it. Jahilia means ignorance. It's meant to be ironic. Oh, I see. Even though you are on the internet, trance, that sort of thing, right? I suppose. Anyhow, that's beside the point. I'd better disconnect and see if your guy can help me get out. Bit Tafik, I've sent you the location to find us at. I'll be here should you require any further assistance in your escape. Well, let's take a look around the crime scene. No doubt about it, this is the one who spoke to me. No doubt about it, this is the one who spoke to me. <laughs> okay, is it just me or does it sound like she's saying Nerd out about it. No doubt about it. This is the Nerd out about it. No doubt about it. I don't know why I find that so amusing. <laughs> no doubt about it. Well, I can't actually look at anything else here. Alright, let's leave. Hello? Huh. Guess he doesn't feel like talking. Um... Are, are, aren't you supposed to help me? Would you like some wetware? Got it! I've made a connection with his neural health- Wait, 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 wait. How did you do that? Please tell me where you just smeared that wetware. Seriously, where do you smear that wetware? Did you just, like, take a blob of glue and just, like rub it on his face or something? What did you just do? Oh. Um. He's 
stuck. Hi there. Oh, hey. Make yourself at home. Everyone else seems to in here. I'm Mandela. Guy, I'd shake your hand, but, well... You alright? Oh yeah, just peachy. Well, I would be if that imposter would go away. I am not an imposter. I am the real postman. How'd you wind up like this? Well, you know that urban myth about the human resources Trojan? The one that makes you move to China and join a factory collective? Turns out, it's not a myth. If I'm correct, Cell have brought me in for treatment. That's a good thing, right? Well, duh. I don't want to work in a Han factory. All glory to the Greater Han Republic. Shut up! Gentle says hi. Oh, does she? Tell her she owes me double for this one. I lost touch with her hours ago. She says you know a way out of here? Well, sure. It's even easier when Central's down. Of course, I'm gonna need something from you. I'm guessing you want me to get you out. And even if you don't, I want to get you out anyway, because this looks horrible. What's with Pinocchio? It's a disguise. Normally, by this stage, the Trojan is in control of its host's motor functions. It makes a really clumsy mind state echo of the host, then uses it to try to make a convincing flight to Greater Han. He didn't look like he's in control in meat space. Peace, bread, and work in the Greater Han Republic. It's kind of a stalemate at the moment. He's taken to bombarding you with propaganda instead? It thinks it can wear me down. Long life and prosperity to our beloved land of Greater Han. Fine. What is it you want? I need an edge to help me get rid of the chatterbox. For that, I need epinephrine. See if you can get them to bring any in. And if they don't? You look clever. You can probably find a way to make it. Substance abuse is the curse of the working classes. <laughs> Why do you want this stuff? The people here don't exactly know what they're doing. Cell's treatment might work, or I might walk out of here and straight to Greater Han. The epinephrine will give me enough of a boost to make sure it's me who wins the battle. We must persevere in the great revolutionary struggle. Plus, it's the kind of thing that most chemical synthesizers can make. Wait, like a food machine? Hmm, probably. Okay. Don't go anywhere. Ha, huh. you're funny. <laughs> Do not think only of yourself. Think of the glory of Han. I want to smash you. A dry, barren wasteland, like something out of a war zone. You're not sure if it's based upon a real place or carefully designed to create the right mood. I have no idea what it means, but it sure looks oppressive. It's the mole file representing epinephrine. Alright, so I should be able to upload that into the food machine, probably. Although I'm probably gonna have to hack it first. But we'll deal with that when we come to it. <laughs> 